Welcome back to Lego by the Book, or kind of. Uh, this uh, is a project that was given to me by Bricks and Wheels. This was uh, something that they bought or was given to them or what have you. And uh, they need it to be built, vetted, parts found, what have you. Uh, it is set 8840, the Rally Shock and Roll Racer. And uh, this is some old stuff. This is... This goes way back. I could probably find a date on here somewhere. 1990. Yeah, so this is old Technic. And there is a bunch of parts inside. Some of which obviously are not part of this. So um, my goal is to, one, figure out what is in here. And uh, how complete it is. So oh, there's two sets of instructions. So there is an old space, really old space set, as well as the instructions for this Technic set. So we're going to see um, how much of either, each, both are actually in. Now the racer itself does not come with a motor, but it was designed so that you could easily add a motor. And there is a motor here. So... We may get to do that. I'm going to actually start with the space set for fun and excitement. Um, I'm going to pull out all the parts that are definitely part of it. That's not even a Lego. Alright, well they're definitely not all of the parts here. But, being old space, there is a really good chance that whatever's missing, I have. And I would love to return this set as complete as possible. So, we're going to give it a try. Alright, it is done. Uh, I had to replace probably a little over half the parts, maybe more, I wasn't keeping track. There were parts I'm not terribly attached to, um, whites and space stuff that I don't really use anymore. Uh, but it is now complete. <clears throat> Open up here, there's a little guy on a little space buggy. It only came with one minifig, which is kind of odd because it has the space buggy and then it also has the, you know, the driver's cockpit. But it uh, came with two very creepy looking androids in these antenna dishes. Two of the antenna parts, um, the radar dishes or the, the I don't know what you'd call them, uh, mind detector looking things uh, that I replaced them with are in really bad shape. I, I ended up, it was missing three of them and that's exactly how many I had. So I was able to complete it, but uh, two of them are not in good shape, so... Yeah, other than that, it is now complete, as far as I can tell, 100% complete, so that's pretty cool, actually. That's some old space. This goes way back. 88 is when this one's measured to. A couple of parts that clearly didn't belong in here. I don't know what they're from. One space dude. Whatever the heck that is. Alright, so that is that one. Now we can take a look at set 8840. Let's see how much of it is here. Now a good portion of it appears to already be assembled, which is actually going to make it harder, so we're going to 
disassemble it for the most part. All right, that's probably far enough down. Well, there it is. It is now also complete right down to the visor on the guy's helmet. That is impressive. I've never actually seen one of these minifigures. They are very articulated. The old Technic minifigs. Never saw any of them. It is. It has shock absorbers. It has actual functioning steering. And if the, the engine block is designed in such a way that it's fairly easy, as shown here... They actually provide the instructions. Oh, they've got a whole alternate kit, by the way. But, with a few minor alterations, you take the, the motor housing out, and you can put in um, the actual the motor. So they, they released this kit, which came with this motor and this battery pack and these extra parts, and you can simply replace the motor that's back here. Right now, when, it, when, you, when the wheels rotate, the, the pistons go up and down. And it makes this one wheel very sluggish. Um, but you can replace that engine block with an actual motor, and then it, it will, you can, it'll drive. You can't steer it, of course, but you can make it you know, go back and forth just because it's then got a motor in it, which is nifty! So that's what I assume all these spare parts are for. This was actually a part from that other kit. But there you have it. Nifty set. Technic was never my thing. That was always my friend Devin's thing. So he probably would have enjoyed this a little bit more than I did. Um, and he probably definitely enjoyed putting the motor in and trying to drive it around and seeing how it has absolutely no handling because there's no, no motor for the steering wheel. But that is pretty neat that they designed the set specifically to be able to have the motor put in them. Two sets completed out of this set with minimal... Well, this one... This one had quite a few parts I had to pull from my own collection. That one only had one or two. Uh, and I ended up finding one of them. So, yeah. Definitely a success, I feel. We have the instructions for both. We have the box for this one. And, uh, yeah, I'll be able to take these back. And they will be able to sell them to someone who will probably find them in immensely uh, nostalgic and will love it. And it will be fantastic. Especially if they sell it with the, uh, the motor kit. So, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.